uh, charge an El Paso police officer in the shooting death of a prisoner. Uh, this is from Mediaite. Uh, a video of the incident was published on Monday after the Texas Attorney General instructed the city to fulfill a request processed by the El Paso Times. The events of the video are very, very disturbing, unsettling. They show a police officer essentially executing a handcuffed man. I, I think we do have video of that. Um, so here, is, here are the details. On March 8, 2013, Officer Jose Flores shot and killed Daniel Rodriguez Sainz. Uh, he was in police custody after erratic behavior at a supermarket that led him to be taken into a nearby medical center. This is where he allegedly uh, had to, uh, he assaulted an off-duty officer and facility staff. Uh, and upon being arrested, Saints continued to lash out physically against officers and, according to reports, struck his own head against the door with the apparent intent to injure himself. Now, Combined Law Enforcement Association of Texas, uh, they say, uh, stated that Flores drew his handgun because Sainz could quickly front his cuffs and turn them into a deadly weapon given his considerable strength, agility, and demonstrated resistance to the taser. At the same moment, Officer Flores draws his weapon. Mr. Sainz pushes off on that curb and, with remarkable strength, sends the civilian escort flying backwards. The civilian escort's arm then hits the trigger hand of Officer Flores, causing his weapon to discharge. All right, so Sainz was a competitive bodybuilder and trainer known at gyms across El Paso. Uh, an autopsy reported that he was 5'8 and weighed about 217. The autopsy did not find cocaine, PCP, or any other hard drugs, drugs in his system, but reported that Sainz tested positive for DMAA, which is a substance found in both workout supplements and bath salts. Synthetic stimulants can cause paranoia, panic attacks, and impair uh, the perception of reality. So you're about to see the video in a, in a second. It, it's not perfectly clear, right? And so, but we want to give you a warning, of course, uh, that it's disturbing anyway. Yeah. Uh, but when you look at the police reports that uh, that we just read to you, um, it is like perfect case for the cops. They tried to do the best they could. I mean, they shot a guy who was handcuffed. So they say, oh, the civilian gets kicked by the suspect and then hits the gun arm, and that's what triggers the and gun. You know what that sounds like? It sounds like a Rube Goldberg machine. What are you, playing mousetrap? Like, this lever hits this, and then the ball rolls. Like, that's a lot of chain of events to get a gun to fire. Super fishy. And then uh, they throw in the DMAA, and uh, that could be bath salts. Could be bath salts. He was clean on all the other stuff. Yeah. That also seems a little fishy. Yeah. Uh, so now, having said all that, let's take a look at the video and judge for ourselves. So uh, it, it's, of course, hard to see there exactly how it went down. Yeah. What, what is clear is uh, he is handcuffed. He's given a hell of a fight. There's no yeah. question about that. And I get that the taser didn't you know, subdue him enough, and they got two guys yeah. there working on him, and they shot him in the shoulder. Yeah. Right. But this whole stuff about, oh, how he could flip the handcuffs yeah. and get beat. Front them. Front them, and then and then wind up doing a lot of damage to the cops, but he didn't do that. He didn't yeah. flip the c handcuffs. Yeah. So it's the responsibility of cops to be able to control a situation like this, and it's a really tough job. I wouldn't want to be those cops trying to deal yeah. with that guy, you know, and he is apparently known in that area as a bodybuilder and stuff, and you can tell he's a strong guy, and you can tell he's putting up a hell of a fight. There's no question about any of that. And if you went and tasered the hell out of him over and over and you pepper sprayed him, I think a lot of people are gonna go, I get it, right? right? But when a guy's got his hand, hands handcuffed behind his back, you just can't shoot him. Yeah, and the other, and let's just for a second suspend the whole, you know, mousetrap game, it accidentally went off. As far as I know, when 
cops shoot, they shoot to kill. When, because people ask all the time, well, why didn't you aim for his leg? Why didn't you aim for his hand? Because they're not, they don't, it's not the Wild West and they're not sharpshooters and they don't do that kind of thing. If their gun is drawn, they're shooting to kill. Right. So how do you explain this besides the mouse trap? Yeah, and that's, look, you just, we, we can call bullshit on that, right? It, you're telling me really the, the, the civilian got wound up hitting the gun and the gun went off and happened to hit him? Yeah. No, I, I just, I don't believe it. You can write it on your police report to cover your ass all day long. There's no way I'm gonna believe that, yeah. right? So if you told me that the cops really thought that they were in danger because the guy's out of control, I get it. I see the video, the guy's going crazy, right? right? If you said you had to use a lot of force to get him under control, I totally get it, right? But it's your job to be responsible enough yeah. where you basically don't execute someone who's got his hands tied behind his back, right. no matter how frustrated you are with him. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, to protect and serve, you, you know, you're this person is going wild and possibly drugged up and obviously agitated, doesn't even begin to cover, but how are you protecting him when you shoot him with his hands cuffed together? And, and final note on that is that they claim that uh, he'd also hit his head against the wall and so that he could be a danger to himself. Well, yeah, you see, now you've used one too many lies and excuses because that's like, you know, when you, if somebody gets caught cheating, they'll throw like eight different excuses right. out and that's when you know they're lying. Right. Right, like, oh, we thought he might be a danger to himself, so we shot him. Mm, that was not the best excuse in the world. So uh, I would have kept that one in your back pocket. Yeah. So obviously uh, this is troubling and I don't believe